Well, hello again. Uh, yesterday I was showing how to draw a molecule in Avogadro. It's a ruthenium complex. Now I am going to show how to make a simple ORCA input file. We're going to submit it, but it has to... I am not going to explain now how to install ORCA. So we are going to perform a simple geometry optimization with a chip uh, the theoretical level so we can see if this, if this molecule has a reasonable structure. I made a text file, now it's called document2, and I have a, a example script from a previous calculation from which I'm going to copy a few uh, instructions. So first I'm going to build in Avogadro Cartesian Editor and you can see the coordinates of the molecule. So we only care about the coordinates which are the atom positions. The double bonds, triple bonds, aromatic bonds that are shown in Avogadro are a chemical interpretation of the bonding that results from distances. In the case of the molecule that we drew in Avogadro is just a I guess the program makes based on a database, but then ORCA will tell us, or the electronic structure calculation will tell us what the actual bo bonding is. It will depend basically on the interatomic distances for each type of atoms. So we are going to copy the coordinates. We could also save this in a XYZ format but copying it is slightly easier, so we are going to copy the coordinates into a blank file. The coordinates in ORCA have to be between two asterisks. Then we need to define the charge and multiplicity of the uh, molecule. So in this case we are going to start with a charge of zero and the multiplicity is the two times n plus one. So if we assume that the total spin of this molecule is zero, the multiplicity would be one. If we have a spin of one half, the multiplicity would be two. If we have a spin of one, the multiplicity would be three. So we'll start with the multiplicity of one. So we have now defined the coordinates and the charge and spin multiplicity of our molecule. We're going to save this file. So I'm going to call it my mole 2 orca. So my mole dash orca dot imp. The format of the file is not necessarily need, needs to be imp, but it's a good practice. So then we need to define a method and what we're going to do. So there are many options. The most popular option, at least it's an option that gives a good uh, relation of uh, performance to cheapness of the method or speed of calculation, is to use Consham DFT. So this is a... Uh, Achieved by writing either RKS or UKS. The R star stands for restricted and the U stands for unrestricted calculation. The difference is <clears throat> that you allow orbitals which contain electrons with up spin and down spin to have. Uh, different orbitals in the unrestricted calculation and in the restricted calculation you force them to be paired all the electrons should be paired into orbitals so that will can only be used for molecules which have a spin multiplicity of one we are going to go with the simple thing so then you have to define the functional we are going to talk in a later video about the different theoretical levels, but for now I'm going to just use this functional, which is a relatively fast functional that gives good results. Then we're going to add this keyword D3 that stands for a, a type of dispersion corrections. 
So DFT, density functional theory, doesn't account very well for weak intermolecular interactions such as van der Waal interactions. So the dispersion correction is an empirical or sem semi-empirical method developed by Grimme, I think, Stefan Grimme, and takes into account this all weak van der Waals and London type of dispersion uh, that DFT doesn't take into account very well. It's, it is recommended to use a dispersion correction always. So then we are going to define the basis set. It is the functions that are used to describe each orbital in each atom. Larger basis sets give you better accuracy. S smaller basis sets are less accurate but are faster. So we are going to, for this molecule, use a, the DEF2 SVP basis set, which is a, a standard and nice small basis set for fast calculations, for geometry optimizations. Then we are going to define, this is called an auxiliary basis set. This is a, related to an approximation, the resolution of the identity that is used to speed up the calculations. The other options I'm, I am not going to to include now because there are different options for changing the accuracy of the calculation. So I'm going to try to keep it as simple. So I will write the keyword opt, which is for geometry optimization, and the keyword frec, which will calculate different frequencies for vibrations and rotations and will uh, let us know first if our structure, optimized structure, is actually an energy minimum, if all frequencies are positive, and it will allow us to calculate thermodynamic properties like entropy, enthalpy, and gives free energy. So this, so this keyword is about uh, generating a, using a pseudo solvent. So for now, we are going to do the calculation in gas phase. So that means we are not taking into account in any way the the interaction of the molecule with the solvent. There are many ways of calculating or approximating this interaction. Solvent is solvents are important in many many uh, properties of the molecules. So what I'm writing now is about how to define the parallel, the number of cores that I'm going to use in the parallel calculation. So I'm going to submit this calculation in my computer, which has ORCA installed, but I normally use a cluster. I will not describe how to use a cluster because each cluster is different and also uh, I, can, I don't want to show particular information about the cluster I'm using. Then there are other options. All these options I am not going to uh, include right now, except this one. I'm going to de design the basis, the basis set for the ruthenium atom. So this is called but using new GTO. So I'm changing the basis set only for ruthenium because when you have... Uh, transition metals especially, it is better usually to use a larger, more accurate ba basis set. So notice that there are two ends because I could copy this and use it for example for chlorine. So there are there's an end to the word to the keyword new GTO and there's an end to the keyword basis. So now I'm only going to worry about the ruthenium. Notice that there are some keywords that use an exclamation point. There are keywords that use a percentage and there are comments which use a, a hashtag.
So for now, we are not going to add anything else. 